My advice for a young artist would be make art and be an artist because you cannot not do it. Have a sense of courage about staying vulnerable. Think about what frightens you the most and then do that. It's likely that it frightens someone else too. This is my advice to you. You should strive to be a change maker. However, don't be afraid to fail. Embrace failure again and again because by uh, not staying in a safe zone and uh, not being afraid to fail is when you're gonna learn the most. I definitely don't regret any of the times when I really followed, um, pursued the things that I loved and, and maybe not knowing how they would be practical or would turn into anything useful. Um, and then I find out, you know, that they do, you know, and, and that when I work that way in my art or even just in pursuing things in my life, that people connect with that. I think it's really important to look at as much artwork as you can. Whether you love it or you hate it, it's important to learn how to see things um, at the same time that you're learning how to make things. Given the fact that um, I probably learn more from my students than what they learn from me, um, I haven't got much to say to them except um, forget everything I taught you, go out, immerse yourself in the culture and work, and work as much as you can until something emerges that's powerful. Put it out there, make a difference in the world. In other words, do what Nietzsche said, which is live your life as a work of art. Have some courage and stand up for something that is important to you. Make friends and make art with your friends. Advice for young artists, that's where we're at. Um, so don't ever give up. Don't let somebody tell you that you can't. Um, I never plan on going to college in the first place uh, and ended up getting a master's degree and, and, and now I'm teaching. So you never know what life's gonna throw at you as long as you don't give up, do that. Some people will tell you that making art is a, a frill, it's marginal, it's another way of approaching understanding the world. Never let them make you think it's a lesser way. It's your way. It's a way of answering questions, but more importantly, it's a way of questioning answers. Listen to disenfranchised voices and disentangled histories. Never forget why you started. Look behind you and use your brain. Talent only goes so far. Work hard, don't give up. Start with very simple steps to get there. Because if you don't, you'll just never start it. You'll never do it. When you're walking down a set of stairs, don't put your hands in your pockets. Realize that there are always things to learn and that you're always in the middle. Um, every person you meet, Every experience you have contributes to your art, your scholarship, and your life. The people who are giving you the most critical feedback are probably giving you the most help. So when you're in the studio, that's really not the time to critique. You should let yourself just create and not be judgmental about anything that you do. Um, but then you need to step back after you've created. You need to step back and take a look at what you've done and edit things and then know where to go. Continue to create and then realize your own potential. You should always be clear about what it is you're attempting to communicate. Artistic thinkers never stop doing creative things because artists never retire. Um, so you'll continue to do extraordinary things in ways that will ask you to respond to questions I can't even anticipate. So tomorrow belongs to you. <laughs> Don't do it for free. We got that, actually. <laughs> oh, so I don't have to cover that one. Do you ever watch Yo Gabba Gabba? It's only a show I watch because of my kid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine.